Ty, you want to talk about the danger of, of Codex and, and the effects worldwide, really? Sure, yeah, Codex Alimentarius basically means food law. And basically what Codex Alimentarius is is the, is the global effort to have all, all countries' foods under the regulatory authority of one, one body, which mm -hmm. would not be the FDA. It would be an FDA-like authority, but it would be a, a global food authority that would regulate food. And it would also regulate supplements. See, there's a, there was a law that was passed in 1994 in the United States called DSHEA, DSHEA, mm -hmm. which stands for Dietary Supplements and Health Education Act or something like that. But anyway, what it basically does, what DSHEA does, is it, it, it classified supplements as a food and not, not a drug. And so because it's, because it's a food, we don't have to worry about it being regulated because you, foods aren't particularly regulated mm -hmm. like drugs are. What, what Codex Elementaris would have effectively do is cause all supplements to overnight become classified as drugs. So then they would be under the regulatory authority, authority of, a, of, a, of a global governing body. And then they would have the ability to say whether vitamin C or lysine or vitamin D, which is a great cancer preventative, get out mm -hmm. in the sun and get vitamin D or take a vitamin D3 supplement. We haven't talked about that. They would have the, the ability to say whether or not that you could actually sell and buy that in any given country that was under Codex. The problem with Codex is it would be in order to get a, a supplement approved you'd have to go through the same testing that you would to get a drug approved. So how many herbal mm. companies do you know that have four hundred thousand right. dollars to get vitamin D approved? Because you can't patent it. Mm -hmm. So where's the money in that? You can't patent it like you could a drug to recoup your investment. So who's going to dump half a million bucks into getting vi their version of vitamin D3 approved or vitamin mm -hmm. C? It just can't happen. So what it will ev effectively do is it will kill all supplements. It will kill supplements in, in any of the co countries that are under Codex. The difference with Codex and typical law is that we live under common law in, in the United States. And so under common law, if something is not spoken of specifically in the law, it's deemed to be okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Under Napoleonic law, which is Codex Elementarius, it's under an old system of law that Napoleon developed. If something is not specifically spoken about in the law, it's forbidden. So in other words, if the law doesn't specifically state that you can purchase vitamin D at your local store, then vitamin D, by definition, is illegal until it's approved. Mm -hmm. So immediately what, what would happen with Codex Elementarius if it's approved, if, if the United States passes a law that would put us under Codex, which we're working towards, Senate Bill 510 last year almost passed, that would have put us under codex. There's Senate bills right now that are, that are on the floor that are trying to put us under codex covertly. Now, that's not what they're going to say the bill's about, but if you read the language mm -hmm. of the bill, it will place us under, the, under codex. But what effectively happened in the United States, if that happens, is that supplements would overnight become illegal. That's the danger mm -hmm. of codex.